Ryan Payne is with us. He's the president of Payne Capital Management. Hot shot here on Wall Street, the man is, even though he's so young. Hot shot. Yeah. You Stuart. take that? <laughs> I will take it. My ego just got that much bigger. <laughs> well, well, fine. The, the yield on the 10-year Treasury, all the way down to uh, 209 this morning. Now it's 211, 212. Why do you say that that low rate of interest makes the stock market attractive for investors? Yeah, so I think what you're seeing right now is what I would call unintended positive consequences. Everyone's talking about the bond market singling fear right now. You should be afraid because everyone's putting their money into bonds. The rates are going lower. What's that telling us about the stock market? And I would argue that there's two things that is doing really, really well for the economy and the stock market. Number one, with rates coming down, and the 10-year treasury is a good litmus test for what people borrow at, yep. now your 30-year mortgage is below 4% again, which yep. is a huge stimulus to the consumer. Um, and if you look at corporations, they can borrow now at much cheaper rates than they could just six, seven months ago. So, you know, we're talking about all these tariffs and how that might have some, you know, that's going to be some friction in the economy. This is actually offsetting that, which if I'm looking from a buying perspective, that means that, you know, that's only going to be another push forward for the economy and the market. You're a brave guy. And I, I'm not joking here. Look, right. in, in October, November, December, we had a pretty nasty downturn. You yes. were telling us what you to get out there and buy stuff that you like. Now we've gone straight back up again. OK, we've had a dip. And yes. now you're telling us another buying opportunity. Get back in. Yeah, because the dynamics just haven't changed, right? The economy is still strong. Uh, the other thing to think about, too, is it's just relative value. You just mentioned the 10-year Treasury is at 2.1%. Well, it's only going to take you 30 years to double your money. Years, <laughs> You're right. a patient man, Stuart. <laughs> I, I don't have 30 years left to live, actually, but that's another story. But what, yeah, you're right. Look, if you put your money into a dead safe government bond or a bond fund, and yes. you, you milk your 2%. You could go into the stock market and AT&T, for example, which I own some of, yes. and I'm getting 6%. Yeah, exactly right. And that's, and that's probably a higher dividend. But even if you've got a basket of dividend paying stocks, you're getting over 4%. That's a 100% better return yeah. than I'm getting sitting in a treasury. And if you look at dividend yields, they're projected to go up this year and next year, and God forbid the market goes up too, it's kind of hard to argue with that. I'm, I'm beginning to get this theme going here that maybe a portion of people's money should be in interest, um, I'm sorry, dividend yielding stocks. Are you with that? You're, you're an advisor on where to put your money. You agree with that? Yeah, exactly. So think about it. I mean, if you're getting ready to retire, retired now, you have to think about generating income. It can't just come from a fixed bond, especially when we're at like 40 lows in interest rates. It just makes no sense. So, I mean, that would be particularly true of older people. I mean, you're a youngster, for heaven's sake. You're barely oh, in your. You're not even in your forties, are you? <laughs> I am, just over forty. Okay, so uh, what yes. do you know about the? I mean, <laughs> you can take risk in the short term. You can take ten years worth of risk with your pension money. I can't. I want to lower my risk at my age. Sure, but you want to have some diversity too because you've got the risk of inflation. Things are going to cost more for you in the future. You're getting 2%. You pay taxes on the 2%. You're down to 1%. You're losing against inflation. Whereas dividends pay out no matter if the market goes up or down. If they're increasing over time, that's keeping up with inflation. So you need to have that as a component to your portfolio. You are the third person on this program in two days who said... Watch out those dividend plays. That's the way to go. Man, oh, man. I guess everyone's following. I guess they're not following my lead. <laughs> no, no, no. You're following <laughs> No, you're all right. Ryan, thank you very much indeed, sir. Thanks, Stuart. Good stuff. Now